I killed many trees on the way. I... Hi, I'm Milton Chang with Bonsai Heirloom. I've been doing uh, this video for almost a year, not quite. And um, the point I want to bring across is that uh, do your own thing. Um, create your own bonsai, your own style. But in order to do so, you need to learn the basic skill. When I first started bonsai, I, I took uh, classes from Harry Hirao uh, in the uh, community, um, well, actually uh, high school um, community uh, classes. And, uh, you know, you go through this number, chokan, straight, number one branch, number two branch, this and that. And you have to learn all of that uh, because that's the fundamental building block you need to learn. And then you need to learn about the soil mix and the how to water it. And unfortunately, a lot of the information that was provided me is correct, but not 100% correct. Uh, they are all correct for certain circumstances. So you need to take what you learn and apply to um, your situation, uh, your, your watering habits, your working habits, the time you allow your bonsai, your time horizon, how you want to use the tree, et cetera, et cetera. So that's how you create bonsai, do your own thing, but understand the fundamentals so you can do it. So one thing that's very impressive to me, obviously, uh, Picasso is a great artist. And if you look at his early works, they're extremely, extremely detailed. It could rival any Dutch masters or French masters. Uh, and then he later on uh, can out display any uh, French impressionists and so forth. But he began with knowing the trade, the art, the techniques, and he perfected it. And then he goes wild to do his own thing. And that is what we should do with bonsai. I really think, I really hope someday there will be American style where we have a model train running over bonsai forests, uh, hanging tree, to, you know, and for that matter, the uh, uh, heritage oak tree in your garden. Oh, these are such wonderful material. Uh, America's got a wonderful landscape that you can put into miniature form. And so that also relates to my uh, uh, Chinese upbringing about calligraphy. So I'll show you this video. You can see when you begin, you, you, you have to follow the stroke exactly in that order. And you, you just follow that and you, you dip it and you do it, the stroke this way, that way. You learn that very, very precisely. You don't deviate an iota from it. And that's called gongbik. That means the formal calligraphy. And I would say five years from then, you gradually take shortcuts and so forth. Eventually, you can see uh, the same word dragon had gone from the very formal word uh, way of writing to the, to the supreme, superb, or, 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 or blind, I guess. So. And, you know, just whatever works that makes you feel good and other people, some people will appreciate it, that's good enough. And that's what creates the great master. But, you know, don't look down on the, uh, the formal style. The gongbi, you know, the formal style, is very hard to do perfection. And if you have a big calligraphy uh, panel with an all formal calligraphy, it's very difficult to do. Only very few masters can do that. So all the way from formal to the extreme informal can all be very pleasing and be truly called art, but you gotta do it right. And the same thing with bonsai, Begin with the eight brand, number one branch, number two branch. Avoid bar, bar branches. The apex got to be this way. And you can do all different style. But do your thing after you get the standard thing perfected. So uh, truly reflecting uh, bonsai has been my passion for the last 50 years. Uh, I, I got a, a bonsai book signed by Naka. That's 1972. So uh, I really have done it for that long. 
And uh, it really saved me in the sense of uh, the, the stressful workload. I was working really 18 hours a day, uh, seven days a week, but uh, bonsai was my relaxation. And um, so uh, I really want to share the, uh, uh, the bonsai uh, passion uh, to be for many people to have it as a hobby. Um, I also feel like um, um, it's a good community relationship builder. I'm Asian. Um, you know, in a bonsai community, uh, people of different walks, different color, uh, get together, become good friends. So I like to promote bonsai. Sometimes people ask me, how do you know so much about bonsai? Well, that's because I've done 50, time, uh, 50 years. But not only that, I always challenge myself uh, why did this tree die? I figured it out, try to do things differently. I killed many trees on the way. I, I went on a, with Harry Hurao to take uh, California juniper for many, many years. None of them lived, you know, because I believe uh, to keep the, the tree dry. A uh, little mist that's passed along, along as a truth. Uh, but I learned how to bust the, uh, the misconceptions. And I share with you because I want your, you to be successful so that you will have an enthusi- I will have an enthusiastic hobbyist. Uh, some people ask me, why do I create this video? And um, well, first of all, there, there are two reasons. Uh, the selfish reason is I want to build a brand uh, that makes Bonza Heirloom a trusted name. But more importantly, I want to share with you everything I know so that you can keep the trees alive and the shortcuts so that you can um, fit that into your lifestyle. And not only that, I teach you all the propagation methods for that, so you can start your own propagation to have your own collection, right? So, you know, it's a very big world out there. Uh, there's plenty of room for uh, businesses and creativity and bonsai. So I want to help you make, keep your own bonsai and create your own bonsai. Uh, what I do today is I, I work on my computer I still manage my businesses, uh, investments. And uh, during break, I take half an hour, 15 minutes, go water my plants to clip a little bit and to fine tune it. It's a wonderful relaxation. Uh, very good for my health, mental health for that matter. In a sense, it's uh, almost like meditation. Uh, and watering is not a chore. It's a pleasure because I feel like I'm nurturing the tree. Uh, it's, it all works out very well, fits into my lifestyle. So structure, your bonsai hobby around your lifestyle. Uh, I'm happy to share with you what I know so that you can fit bonsai into your lifestyle by taking shortcuts. So continue to visit us. We, I love to see you and want to build a community where we can share ideas. Uh, let's build a relationship. So thank you very much for watching. Please like my video if you think it's informative and subscribe so we'll keep you posted. So stay tuned. Thank you.